what is up? My name is Mate and today I'm going to show you how to declutter, so keep on watching. So you can start decluttering things in a drawer, a closet, a room, a library, etc. So what I do is that as I go through all of that stuff, I make five piles. The things I'm gonna keep, the things I'm gonna sell, the things I'm gonna put in the trash, and the things I'm gonna donate. For example, this book. I read it a lot, I use it very often, I find it very helpful. So I'm gonna keep it because I do use it. It's something I actually need in my life. This is basically an example of the things you're gonna keep. For the sale pile, I'm gonna be putting things I don't use but someone might find helpful or useful and are in good conditions and I can actually get um, a considerably good amount of money for it. For example, I'm not gonna sell a necklace or a t-shirt to receive one dollar. So. I would rather donate it or gift it or something like that. For the donate pile, I'm gonna be putting everything that it's not good for selling because I will get around a dollar and it's not worth it or something that someone would actually really need. Like someone who lives in the street that needs clothes and coats and all that stuff and maybe I will get one dollar for a t-shirt so I will donate it to that person and it's gonna be better for them and I'm not gonna be having a lot of things in my house that I don't need please make sure it's in good conditions if you're gonna donate it because it's not very cool to give someone something that it's already in my conditions or broken or, or something like that it's not really nice it's okay to be unsure about throwing away something or keeping it or something like that. So what I do is put the unsure pile in a box and I keep it out of sight for 30 days. And if in those 30 days I didn't need anything from that box, then I will do something about it. Then I will throw it away or put it in the trash or sell it and donate it. And I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna use it because I didn't use it. And the trash pile is the easiest one, like underwear, broken things, um, paper, tickets, all that stuff. Digitalize everything. It's a lot better to have a little box full of USBs or CDs or something like that than having a room or closet or huge boxes in your house filled with things you like to see, you like to have, that brings you a lot of memories and stuff, but like you can basically just scan everything or take a picture of it and just keep that in a USB, then throwing that away, then having a room or a closet full of things, because you're never gonna see these things, you just appreciate that you have them when you have to take a decision about throwing them away or not because you never see those pictures you're like oh yes i have them in a box i don't know where are they and it's so with that that always happens you have to let go of things if you want to see those things then get into your computer with the usb and watch it and it's the same feeling i swear like, it doesn't change a thing. So, why are you keeping so many boxes in your home that you don't need? Because like, really, think about it. When was the last time you watched the album when you were a baby? Of course you can keep sentimental stuff, but something that really, truly means a lot to you and it, would, it totally wouldn't be the same if you had it in a USB than if you had it in like, if you could touch it, you know? But really, don't lie to yourself, don't call every single thing you have or own like something you totally love and you want to keep because you're gonna end up having a room full of those things you love and actually think about it 
If you love those things, you wouldn't forget about them. You would constantly be thinking about them. You would constantly be watching them, reading them. Remember that minimalism is about getting rid of the things you don't need in your life and making space for the things that actually matter. Remember, it's totally different loving a memory than loving an object. It's the things you own end up owning you. You don't need more space, you need less things. I said this in my last video, but for example, me. I love fashion, it's something that makes me happy. I want to start a fashion blog. So I actually need the clothes I have because that's important for me. That's what brings me joy. I love fashion. It's a way I can express myself in so many ways and I love it and it really does make me happy. And yes, I could say I have a lot of clothes compared to all the things I own. But that's the thing, I keep it minimal. For example, when you're buying clothes, make sure you can at least make five outfits out of that thing. Because yeah, minimalism is about making space for things that matter in your life. So if clothes are important for me, I, I will get rid of, of other clothes I'm not using, I'm not wearing anymore, stuff like that. You can own a lot of things and still be called a minimalist. Because minimalism is not about how much things you have. There are minimalists that own a hundred things or less. And there are minimalists that own lots and lots of things. Maybe those minimalists who own a lot of things use all those things. And that's okay, they are still minimalists. And why is that? Because they are just getting rid of things they don't need. But if they need all those things, there's no reason to declutter just because they have a lot of things. That's no reason to declutter. They are needing the... If they need that, it's okay. It's totally up to you. Personally, I declutter when I'm feeling overwhelmed or too stressed or something like that. Or I have noticed things that I haven't been using and I am not thinking of using them. That's when I declutter. And yes, feeling overwhelmed by so many things you own, it's a thing. And that happens to me a lot. I don't know about you guys, but that happens to me a lot. This happens a lot to me when I'm decluttering. I take an object and I'm like, why am I keeping this? And the last time I said I was gonna keep it because it was important and now I don't think so, I'm not very sure of that. So yeah, that always happens to me. So it's kind of like important to me to clutter like twice or once a month. You don't have to declutter in one day. Decluttering is a long process, especially if it's your first time. So take it easy, you can declutter a box or two or a drawer or something like that, uh, like in a day, in a day. And that's it, and the next day you continue that because it's really overwhelming. This is not about how many things you own. That's why I think minimalism is so cool. Because you can adapt it to your lifestyle, to the way it makes you happy, to the way you live. So I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to It's My DJ, which is this channel and It's My DJ MX, which is my Spanish channel. And remember that all my social media will be linked down below so you can follow me. Don't forget to leave a comment down below what do you think about this. If you are a minimalist, have doubts about it, you can totally ask. If you have ideas or requests for next videos, of course you can write them down below. And i see you guys next week. Bye!